Hello, I am Dr. TK Swami, surgical gastroenterologist, senior consultant in the Department of Surgical Gastroenterology, Valley Hospital, Erode. In this video, I will show you how to put the ports for laparoscopic nascent fund application. The most common cause of stressful surgery is not putting the ports properly. If you don't put the ports properly, what happens? You strain your neck, you strain your shoulder, you strain your back, you strain the assistant, you strain the camera person, everybody is strained. So it is very important to know how to put the ports properly. It holds good not only for laparoscopic nissen fund application, but for all laparoscopic surgeries. It is more so for nissen fund application because the nissen fund application is a technically demanding operation you need to pay attention to detail right from the beginning to the end of the operation. So in this video, I will teach you how to put the ports for nissen fund application properly. Usually, the surgeon stands in between the legs and the position of the patient is reverse Trendelenburg with the left shoulder up. Whenever you are putting a port, you must know three things. One, where you want to put the port. Number two, why you are putting it there. Number three, in which direction the port has to go. First we will see the camera port. The camera port is placed above and to the left of the umbilicus. You must know how far above and how far to the left of the midline. We draw a line from the ziphi sternum to the umbilicus and divide this line into upper one third, middle one third and lower one third. The camera port is placed at the junction of the upper two-third with the lower one-third. If you go too high, you will be looking at the hiatus vertically down. If you come closer to the umbilicus or below the umbilicus, you will be far away from the hiatus. Now, we must know how far to the left of the midline we have to go. It is roughly 3 cm away from the midline at the pararectal plane. Why not in the midline? If we put the camera port in the midline, the camera person every time he gets inside, he will be hitching against the falciform ligament and we need to clean the scope frequently. Moreover, the hiatus is not exactly in the midline. It is to the left of the midline. So, it is always better to go to the left of the midline. Now, we know where to put the port. We must know in which direction this has to be placed. As we stand in between the leg, and most of us are right-handed, we have the tendency to direct the troca towards the right shoulder of the patient. If we direct the troca towards the right shoulder, the camera person has to use a lot of torque to bring the camera to the midline or to the hiatus. Wherever there is more torque, the patient will have pain in the immediate post-operative period, not only here, anywhere. So it is better to direct the troca towards the midline or a little to the left of the midline. To sum up, the camera port is placed at the junction of upper two-third and lower third of a line drawn from the ziphi sternum to the umbilicus and 3 cm to the left of the midline directed towards the midline or to the left of the midline. The next port to be inserted is the liver retraction port. Only then you will be able to look at the hiatus and direct all the other hand instruments towards the hiatus. The liver retraction port is placed immediately below the ziphi sternum. You have to put it either in the midline or to the right of the midline. Whether you are putting it in the midline or to the right of the midline, the point where you enter the peritoneal cavity has to be to the left of the falciform ligament. The liver retraction port is placed 2 to 3 cm above the lower border of the liver. If you go too high, what will happen, you will be unnecessarily fracturing the liver. If you come too low, what will happen, you will be using only the tip of the instrument to lift the liver. If you use the tip of the instrument, what happens, it will be injuring the liver unnecessarily and the liver might start bleeding. Moreover, if you come too low, this instrument will disturb the working port and the camera port. So it is always better to go 2-3 to cm above the liver and then lift the liver with the body of the instrument, not the tip of the instrument. That is a very important technical point. Next we will see the working port. 
they are placed below the costal margin as laterally as possible. The left working port is placed 2 cm below the costal margin and as laterally as possible. If you place this incision immediately below the costal margin, what happens? Once you take away the pneumo, the scar will go and lie over the costal margin and the patient will have pain every time he takes a deep breath. So it is always better to place this 1 to 2 cm below the costal margin and as laterally as possible. And this has to be directed towards the hiatus. The next port is the right subcostal port. This is also placed below the costal margin, but this is placed closer to the midline. Why? Because if you go too laterally, what happens? You need to abduct your left shoulder. So it is very important to take this port little closer to the midline. And another important point is the this port has to go through the falciform ligament if it is dangling down. In some patients, it will be something like a cord. There you need not worry. Suppose if it is dangling down, you have to go inside the falciform ligament. The trochon has to go across the falciform ligament. Otherwise, every time you insert the hand instrument, it will go and hitch against the falciform ligament and it might start bleeding profusely. So it is very important that you put this port closer, little closer to the midline and across the falciform ligament. Lastly, the stomach retraction port. This is placed 3 to 4 cm below and lateral to the left subcostal working port and it is directed towards the hiatus. At the end of putting all the ports, all the trocars must be pointing towards the target organ. Formerly, it was thought that putting the port vertically down is easier to go to the other areas of the abdomen and see. Most of the time, in all advanced cases, except for the diagnostic laparoscopy, we will not be going to the other parts of the abdomen. So it is always better to direct all your trocars towards the target organ. If you direct it this way, it is easier to exchange the instruments without the help of the assistant. Otherwise, what happens? Every time you exchange the instrument, the assistant has to hold the trocar for you to insert the instrument. So if the instruments are pointing towards the target organ, you yourself can exchange the instruments easily. Just to recap, we create pneumoperitoneum by the various needle technique. You can use the open technique also, but generally we use various needle for creating the pneumoperitoneum. Once the pneumo is created, we put 10 millimeter incision for the camera port. The camera port is the only one which has got 10 millimeter, all the other ports are 5 millimeter only. We have to direct the trocar towards the hiatus or to the left of the midline. That is the important point you must remember. Then the next port is the liver retraction port, which is placed 2 to 3 centimeter above the lower part of the liver so that when you lift the liver, you use the body of the instrument, not the tip of the instrument. Next is the left subcostal port, which is placed 2 to 2 cm below the left costal margin and it is directed towards the hiatus. The right subcostal port is placed closer to the midline and across the falciform ligament. The trocar has to travel through the falciform ligament the stomach retraction port which is placed 4 cm below the left subcostal port. Now you can see all the four ports pointing towards the hiatus. Thank you very much for watching this video. I have given the PDF document of my handwritten notes in the description below. Either you take a screenshot or a printout of the document. Whenever you are going for a case of fundo, you can see the diagram and go. You will do a better job than before. Thank you very much. Your comments are welcome.